Hey, what is going on everybody? So in today's video, I want to talk about Shadowlands. Shadowland? Lands? You know, I always say Shadowlands, but I don't think there's an S there. Anyways, I'm sure you guys, if you're following my channel, you knew that I had some horrific red star pulls for Moon Knight. So I actually haven't built them up myself. However, my partner has, and they do have a fully built up team, which we have been using in war to do some tests, uh, both with against the Marauders and uh, Black Order. So that's kind of what I want to share with you in today's video is I do have some clips of that. I kind of want to go over it kind of point by point and sort of where it breaks down. Uh, it isn't, uh, it's not a clear win, I'll say that up front, uh, but I do want to go over it anyways and where the Shadowland team does have merit and they are the real deal, I will say that. Uh, that, you know, they are very incredibly strong in war for teams so far other than Black Order. You know, I think that they can still maybe beat Black Order, but obviously people have built them up, Black Order anyways. Uh, you know, so much higher than people will have Shadowland at this point. And obviously, things like Yellow Stars, Red Stars, and T4s are all going to matter when it comes into fighting them. So, I do want to go over a little bit a little bit of this today and hope that it kind of sheds some light. I haven't seen a lot of footage uh, when it comes to Shadowland, uh, specifically against Black Order. You know, I've been looking all over YouTube trying to find some videos. And if people, uh, you know, know of any sort of uh, wins against Black Order with Shadowland, please let me know in the comments below or on Discord or, you Know, get a hold of me some way because I would love to actually see that. But anyways, uh, without further ado, let's get this show started. All right, so we have two clips here that I kind of just fused together. Some of this was actually taken from my live stream from last weekend. Uh, but for those who weren't there, I do want to share it with you guys here. And yeah, that is me in the background, so I'm kind of over top of myself here. But uh, let's go through it anyway. So uh, here, actually, it'll get moved anyway. So we were, I, basically, I was screen sharing uh, my partner's account over onto my computer so that I could record it. So that's what we did here. And we're going into that, let's skip through a little bit here. Uh, so that's where we're going into this 574k Black Order team here with my partner Shadowland team, which I believe with Warbus we'll see here, uh, 380, it's a little bit higher now, but yeah, this was a 380k team. And, uh, you know, it is basically the bare bones for Moon Knight and White Tiger. I believe White Tiger is three yellow, three red, I think, and Moon Knight is also three yellow, three red. Uh, my partner did get really lucky and pulled a five red Moon Knight, so congratulations there because everyone knows that I got screwed over really badly. But anyways, uh, so this is a two, uh, almost a 200k punch up, it's essentially a 200k punch up. And in case you can't see it, because at the top uh, there is a hanger debuff, hanger buff, sorry, but a security debuff, and they have engineering. So this is kind of like the double whammy, and I probably shouldn't have expected to sort of punch up at all but I wanted to try it anyways because it's so hard to find you know lower black order teams because most people have this way higher like especially teams that I fight you know mostly like 650 700k that kind of range and maybe even a little bit higher than that because mine's like 830 on the defense so it was really challenging to find a black order team that was even a, in a reasonable range to fight so I'll be upfront that this didn't go over very well but I think that they do have you know, there is some possibility here that I think that they could beat Black Order. Things just kind of all have to go right, and I think that's where the problem is. So, I will also say before we get into the gameplay that uh, in terms of T4s, Daredevil has the passive and special, so this is really important, and these are kind of almost required. Uh, White Tiger has the passive and the special. Elektra has the passive and the alt, I'm pretty sure now. Uh, Night Nurse has everything but the basic. And Moon Knight has the passive and the ultimate. So there is a f quite a bit of T4 invested in this team. Probably close to 2,000 T4s, maybe even a little bit more than that. And, you know, we've been able to clear other teams other than Black Order pretty well with punch-ups of upwards to 150k. Uh, and their survivability is really good. And actually, I would say Night Nurse is basically MVP in this. So try to ignore my, my second person behind me uh, here. But, uh, okay, so here we get started here. And I'm going to pause and start and pause it at different moments where I think is important. So right off the bat here, uh, you see that everyone is getting turn bar, has offense up spawn. Uh, and also, Elektra is here so that Night Nurse and White Tiger are getting the evade. And I think this is really important. So Thanos is actually going first. He does take the first turn. And this really sucks uh, because of the... Um 
security debuff. This can really hurt. So we see here, it goes over to D uh, Daredevil, and actually Daredevil dodges this, luckily, and uh, I believe this is White Tiger here, has a Vade. So actually everyone dodges that, and that was really lucky. So we start off with the ultimate, and this is super important, the Moon Knight ultimate, because if you don't manage to... And there's a lot of debuffs, even though he's able to clear everyone's positive effects. Uh, you know, he needs to make an appropriate focus check versus their resistance. Not to mention they have defense up so the, and deflex, so this is incredibly ha that much harder. And so it's no surprise. <laughs> we'll see here that <laughs> it doesn't actually clear everyone's. And specifically, you know, before we go forward further, you do want to make sure that immunity is cleared from Thanos because if it's not, you need the goal is to ability block Thanos. And if you don't do that, he's just going to flip all the negatives to positives anyways. Whatever you cleared and whatever whatever negative stats effects you managed to land, it's going to get flipped by his special. So you really need to make sure that this immunity is cleared and you know we don't uh, but we did manage to land you know heal block on other characters and we did manage to actually apply a few of the the negative status effects but ebony moss still had his uh immunity and then thanos still had his immunity as well so realistically this is where it starts to get bad so we try to flip this i believe although i realized that uh you know it doesn't really matter at the end of the day because you know what those uh, are just going to get flipped when Thanos does a special. So all of these things that you might normally do, uh, you know, the, the the special to put counters up, which I think we try and do, none of that really matters, and I realized that afterwards, that we kind of get screwed by that, because if we're not allowed to ability block Thanos, then everything goes to shit. I think we tried to use the special on Thanos here to maybe see if we could clear it, you know, one extra go at it, uh, you know, to clear that, because she actually goes before, Electra goes before White Tiger, or maybe we just said screw it or I forgot. This is my very first run at fighting Black Order, but it didn't go all that well. So White Tiger you see here goes after Elektra. We could have tried, reasonably tried to clear uh, Thanos' immunity, but it, you know he still had four buffs and I think if you don't have this the special T Ford, uh, it's only one to two, so it's still pretty risky. Everything gets flipped and then everything goes into negatives and that's really basically where it starts to fall apart. Uh, you know, I'll play it here. Uh, it's, it's really not that, um, not that surprising. What could happen, though, is you could save Night Nurse's ult to then flip it back around to the negatives that were caused. But usually because that there's so many other positive effects, this is still quite crippling, and I'm not sure if you could come back from this, uh, from this kind of punch-up anyways. If it was maybe like a 100k punch-up, something like that, perhaps you could come back from it. But I just, you know, you're, you're stuck now into, uh, Call Obsidian, and it's just, it's, it's really, really, really challenging. I think at this point, especially when Thanos gets his ultimate, that's when shit hits the fan. And then ultimately, he's going to just wipe the field. Not to mention, you know, Night Nurse is really good at what she does. She actually has a lot of hit points, and, you know, she can actually survive quite a bit and keep the team alive. And we'll see that when we get to our Marauders clip. But in terms of the Black Order, yeah, it just doesn't go over very well. Now, we tried to do this again on the same, <laughs> on the same live stream. We tried to do it one more time. Just for science, and I just want to skip ahead a little bit here, and we'll see what it looks like when we go in again. I think we managed to clear a little bit more than before. I don't remember if this goes worse. So you see that time that Thanos actually hits Moon Knight instead of Daredevil. Obviously, Moon Knight didn't dodge it, and he took a lot of damage there, and it triggered Night Nurse's speed bar. Uh, so she actually goes first rather than everyone else. So that's kind of interesting. I don't remember what we do here. Exactly, we use the special probably to cleanse it rather than to flip. So we try to save the ultimate. And uh, then then we have Moon Knight, of course, going second here. And this is where we try to clear again. And I actually think we managed to clear less off of Thanos and Ebony Maw than we did the first time around. So he still has speed up. And basically it goes very similar as you might expect. And so this is kind of unfortunate here. But, you know, the special, you know, you have a second chance, I suppose, with the Electra special. Did we clear anything? I, don't, I think we cleared one. I don't remember what it was, but it didn't really matter because the immunity is still there, and therefore uh, White Tiger cannot ability block. So really, at this point, it probably doesn't matter too much because... You know, because not only is Ebony Maw not, uh, does still has immunity, but so does Thanos, and Thanos would just flip, so whatever you do really doesn't matter, and that's basically where I'm kind of in that position here. Now, skipping a little bit here, there we have the flip, and I think 
I think we, we try to salvage this a little bit with the flip. And so if you see, all that bleed just got flipped back to regen. So that's really nice about Night Nurse. And she actually has a ton of sustainability with this team. And it's actually really, really great. And we'll see this in, in more action when we actually get to the Marauders clip that I did. Uh, it, that was very close to a win, but we'll see as we get closer on uh, why it was super important though. And this team has tons of survivability, so we try to push on anyways and see, you know, if we can get any damage done. This is, keep in mind, a 200k punch up, so this is quite extortionate. Uh, I really would like to find a more even powered team, but you know, it's really difficult and I don't think that balanced PvP is a good way to test this because they have a lot of war benefits and also in balanced PvP it doesn't take into account ISOs, so that's super important as well for that test. Anyways, we, we get kind of far and then you get to the point where Thanos is going to AoE with his alt and that's where things get really hairy because even though they doesn't have offense up, you know, it still does a ton of damage. And you know, <laughs> I think we try to use the ultimate just for more damage. Got over halfway through Call of City, but at the end of the day, you know, I think if you're not able to land ability block on Thanos, I think things really just go to shit. And I think if you're able to do that, you know, things maybe might turn out a little bit better. But yeah, it's still really hard. Bam, and then like three people get wiped out, and at that point's over. So, unfortunately, yeah, the Black Order uh, attempts did not work out too well, but I did want to share with you guys anyways in terms of the turn order and what to expect there. So, uh, let's jump on over to my Marauders clip so I can share you guys some more. Alright, and so here we are with Shadowlands versus Marauders. Now, I forgot to uh, show off what the team was, so we're going to skip to the end here. Uh, but <laughs> I know this kind of spoils it a little bit. So, this was a 380k... Uh, Shadowland team versus a 495k Marauder team. Now, you see here at the end that the Amifrost did manage to survive, but I do want to show off the clip anyways because at the end, of the, if you noticed here actually, everyone is still alive at full health, so it actually was a timeout, unfortunately. Uh, so let's get back to the beginning of the match here, and we'll start it here. So this is very similar to what you guys saw in the Black Order version, uh, but here we are with Electra going first, and you normally would want to apply that disrupt from her alt to strife so here this is what we attempt to do i'm pretty sure here and it did land so that's good and then we go in for the alt this also is a minerva variant of marauders marauders i don't see this very frequently uh, because i think that there's much better other fifth members you can put in here but i just want to share it anyways and so we did manage to actually clear most of the positive effects other than Sinister and Emma Frost, but I mean they're like G14 and Moon Knight is G12 and 3 yellow 3 red So keep that in perspective and I believe the Moon Knight is also only level 71 So uh, with level 75 or higher and some extra gear I think that it would be a lot easier to probably clear So but this is okay because we still managed to get Actually, we didn't. Sorry, we didn't manage to get the ability block at all against Emma Frost. I thought we did, but we got the disrupt. None of this really matters because eventually at some point she's going to clear them with her special. But you see that they all do a lot of damage, actually. And so I think we try... I don't remember what was going on here. Why we kind of flip around to different targets. I believe we should have gone for Minerva straight up. Uh, but Night Nurse basic Emma Frost for some reason. I think it was to apply the slow to see if we could get a little bit further along. And so uh, Minerva almost dies. We do get a Night Nurse clone, and this is kind of rough uh, because she does come as 7775 when Sinister clones her. So this is, and she has the alt there, and, and look at all that regen everywhere. So this is pretty rough, but we still manage to push on anyways, and we need to get that Minerva down. So we use the special, I'm trying to clear some extra damage, and she dies here anyways, so, uh, you know, she's pretty easy to kill still. Uh, because, especially because you get offense up for two turns on spawn with White Tiger's passive, so that's really great. And here I think we use the ultimate to just chain around a little bit, and uh, we need to get that Night Nurse down as well, because Night Nurse is not great. She's, she's definitely, well, I mean, she's a good sustained clone, but we don't really want to keep her alive too long. But also, Strife needs to die, because we know that Marauders, whenever you fight Marauders, uh, Strife needs to die, otherwise she's going to keep taunting. So I think we use the basic try and clear Night Nurse. Uh, so White Tiger's basic does actually do additional damage against summoned enemies. Uh, so this actually is quite nice to try and kill out uh, Sinister's clone here. So uh, from this point on, we're, we're basically four on five, and everyone is still in good health, which is really good. 
So, the good thing about uh, fighting Marauders is that they don't have tons of burst damage. Their damage isn't super high, uh, so because Shadowland and with Night Nurse, there is quite a lot of sustainability here. They're typically able to out-sustain the Marauders on a healing front, and damage-wise, they're pretty good as well. So, you know, then we go through the... and, and not to mention that Emma Frost Blind and Mystique's Alt does absolutely nothing. So, uh, Moon Knight was the target of this, and you see that boom. Electra hit Moon Knight for 706 damage. It's negligible, you know, for the amount of hit points they have. Daredevil hit him for 37. It's like absolutely nothing. It's like a scratch. Uh, so, you know, Emma Frost really isn't really much of a threat here. Uh, most of the threat just comes... There's really no threat at all. It's just the sustainability between um, <clears throat> Sinister and Emma Frost and just having to have to kill through them. So here, I don't know, we use the special, I think, on uh, Sinister trying to ability block him. And we managed to do that in this two-turn ability block, which is great. And the disrupt and the follow-up attack as well from Striker. So having White Tiger as a Striker, super important. Still try to just beat into Strife, trying to get him down. Oh, God, he's got you know so much sustain still between Emma Frost and uh, Sinister, and that's basically the goal here. But if you see here, you know basically how much hit points. So Electra took 73k from a from a Sinister basic, and then the assist from Strife that was like over 100k damage. And then Emma, um, Night Nurse, then her passive triggers, she gets 30% speed bar, and then you know heals up Electra quite a bit, and she gets the defense up. So. Night Nurse is such an MVP on this team. Keeps everyone alive and healthy. And, I, you know, I think she's a candidate for Tier 14 or 15, frankly. Uh, you know, as much as it, it pains me to say that, if you're... If you're someone who's building this team, then taking Night Nurse up the most, you know, to 14, 15, I think it's probably the, the second or third most consideration. I think taking Moon Knight up to tier 15 or 14, you know, as the highest geared member of the team, I think is also really important too, because I think that he needs to really clear all the positive stats effects. Uh, so making sure that he has the higher stats to be able to do that is super important because he's the one landing AoE heal block as well for two turns. So all of this is really important for it. So as we go through it, Mystique does another alt again. It does like nothing I think I did a thousand damage there and it's just crazy so eventually we're unfortunately running low on the time here and so we do end up timing out eventually but we do manage to get through all of them before Emma Frost it's just when Emma Frost is left and look at that I, oh I kind of paused that at the wrong time that alt that electro alt did 200 like 240k damage it's crazy how much that actually does uh, it's really powerful and I don't even believe offense up was there so you know, it does a lot of damage. Electra actually does some decent damage now. And so I think at this point we stick on auto pretty soon because we're just running out of time. Uh, and we do eventually manage to get through Sinister and Mystique and this new White Tiger clone that showed up. Um, but at the end of the day, I think we just run out of time to get through Emma Frost. Now, we probably could have done so, uh, and, and because it was on auto, unfortunately, we lost out on that, uh, that White Tiger, sorry, not White Tiger, Moon Knight alt that got blinded. Uh, and if we had a little bit more time, we probably could have ability blocked Emma Frost with White Tiger, but it just didn't work out that way. So... What I wanted to share here with you guys is like, look at this. The whole team is super healthy. You know, this was, uh, what was the punch up here? It was 110k. We've actually managed to win a 150 to 200k punch up against Marauders. It's highly possible. I think it's just time is of the essence. And I find that this is a case actually with a lot of other teams as well. Uh, you know, when I play more Doc Ock Sinister Six teams against Emma Frost, against, sorry, against Marauders or Emma Marauders. You know, this happens as well. That actually my Doc Ock Sinister 16 end up timing out because you're fighting up against Emma Frost at the end. And because of her diamond form, she just regens so much and her sustainability is so high. So I just wanted to share these clips with you guys, uh, both the Shadowlands versus the Black Order and Shadowlands versus Marauders. Uh, there is going to be definitely more footage in, uh, to come and definitely more actual win footage. This basically would have been a win if I wasn't taking so long to do the fight. I think I was just, this was my my second or third time fighting Marauders and was just, and this is the first time using a Minerva variant, so I didn't really know uh, all of the different, uh, you know, what I should do and what I shouldn't do yet. And so I definitely think this would have been a win because they're clearly all alive and it was just a timeout and just a bad, uh, bad time play on my part. So. Uh, yeah, wanted to share this with you guys about the footage for Shadowland. I don't see a lot of Shadowland footage versus Black Order either, so if anyone knows of any additional footage from other people that have that, please feel free to let me know whether it's on YouTube or on Discord. Uh, but until next time, guys, stay safe. I'll see y'all later. Boylan signing out.